Bacteria and Viruses for Kids. Today, we are going to talk about two common, tiny microorganisms called bacteria and viruses. Did you know that yogurt has bacteria in it? For real. But before you get super grossed out and swear never to eat yogurt again, there is something else you need to know. All of the bacteria found in yogurt is actually good bacteria. This kind of bacteria helps our bodies work. Good bacteria are not just found in yogurt. They are also found in other foods like kimchi, pickles, and soy sauce. In fact, most of the bacteria in your body and on the planet are good bacteria. Only a few kinds can make you sick. And all of those good bacteria help our bodies and the earth. But before we talk more about that, let's talk about what bacteria are and what they look like. What are bacteria? Bacteria are single-celled organisms that are so tiny they can only be viewed under a microscope. Unlike other single-celled organisms, bacteria have no nucleus. Common shapes of bacteria are rods, spirals, and spheres. Some move like swimmers in water, using long tails called flagella. Some remain still, and others simply slither or slide their way around. Here is a picture of a single bacterium and its parts. Bacteria are in your body, but they can also be found in the air, on your skin, in the soil, and in nature. Most bacteria are not dangerous, but there are some that can make you sick. These are called pathogens. Some common pathogens are food poisoning, leprosy, pneumonia, strep throat, and typhoid fever. Some pathogens can be fought by using antibiotics, which are special kinds of medicines used when someone becomes sick because of bad bacteria. Another substance used to fight bacteria are antiseptics, which are used in soaps and other products used for cleaning scrapes and cuts, or simply to keep your hands clean. Now that we've talked about the bad bacteria, let's move on to the good stuff. Good bacteria inside your body helps you digest food and helps keep your immune system strong. Here's a fun fact. There are just as many bacteria cells in your body as there are other body cells. That's incredible! Good bacteria can also be found on the earth. Decomposers live in the soil and break down dead plant and animal material. Another type called rhizobium helps fertilize soil. About 40 million bacteria can be found in a single gram of soil. Wild, right? And bacteria also produce about half of the oxygen in the atmosphere. Now that we know more about bacteria, let's move on to viruses. What are viruses? Unlike bacteria, all viruses are harmful to the body. A virus is made up of genetic material and can infect the cells of plants, animals, and other organisms. Scientists debate each other about whether viruses are living or dead. This is because viruses do not have an organized cell structure or nucleus. And unlike bacteria, they cannot reproduce until they attach themselves to a living cell. A fascinating fact about viruses is the name. Virus comes from the Latin word meaning slimy liquid, which, if you have ever gotten sick from one, might describe exactly how you felt while you were sick. Viruses attack healthy cells, and as the healthy cells reproduce, the virus also reproduces and takes over even more cells. When a virus invades an organism, the organism becomes sick. There are many kinds of viruses that can be passed from person to person, like handshaking, food contact, through water, and through the air. This can happen when a person sneezes or coughs because viruses are very small and can move through the air. Insect bites, bad food, and animals can also be viral sources. Have you ever had influenza? 
which is often called the flu. What about a cold? Well, then you've had a virus. Other viruses include coronavirus, mumps, measles, hepatitis, and yellow fever. And once you are infected with the virus, you can only treat its symptoms. Even though viruses might seem scary, there are a lot of ways that you can help prevent infection. Keeping your hands washed, making sure your food is well cooked, getting plenty of sleep, and eating healthy foods will all help your immune system defeat a virus. And if you have to go somewhere where there are a lot of people, wearing a medical grade mask can help slow the spread of airborne viruses, just like doctors, nurses, and dentists do in their offices. Vaccines, like the flu shot and COVID-19 vaccine, can also help prevent viral infection. Vaccines are often made from dead or weak viruses. These harmless versions of the virus trick your body into thinking that it was the real deal and builds up your immunity. That way, if the real virus tries to infect your body, your immune system will be ready with something called antibodies. The flu shot and other vaccines help your body to develop these antibodies. Hooray for modern medicine! Now that we've learned about bacteria and viruses, let's test our new knowledge. True or false, both bacteria and viruses do not have a nucleus. True. Fill in the blank. Blank use weak or dead viruses to help prevent viral infection. Vaccines. Vaccines use weak or dead viruses to help prevent viral infection. Great job! Name one of the things you can use to fight a pathogen. Antibiotic or antiseptic. True or false? All bacteria are bad. False. In fact, most bacteria are helpful. Great job, microorganism magicians! Bacteria and viruses are two tiny organisms that are all around us. Sometimes called germs, they can both cause sickness. While not all bacteria are harmful, all viruses can be. So make sure you do your part and prevent the spread of these microorganisms by strengthening your immune system. The next time you wash your hands, wear a mask, and get enough sleep, you are helping keep your body and other people in your community healthy and safe. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.